Shardimus Prime here doing another Walking Dead figure toy review on the McFarlane Toys Walking Dead TV series season 2 or series 2 I mean well zombie right here now I absolutely love this figure I love the Walking Dead and I don't know if you guys remember the episode it's called Cherokee Rose where this well zombie was stuck in a well and they wanted to pull him out so that they could use the well. Tried pulling him out, but didn't work out. You know, spoiler alert, by the way. Well, at first they tried to lure the, the zombie upward with a canned ham, which actually isn't a bad-looking canned ham. You know, this thing's actually kind of making me a little hungry, right? No, 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 it's actually kind of nasty looking. But, you know, you can see they got some hooks around it and everything. So they tried to lure the well zombie in with this, which actually didn't work out. And I thought this was really cool. I thought they did a great job of, you know, detailing this thing. Looks pretty nice. Had a lot of color variation there, and even the hooks are all painted nicely and everything. They ended up putting Glenn down the well, and, you know, and he wrapped this rope around him, the, the zombie, and when they pulled him up out of the well, skabloosh! All the guts came out, and the bottom half dropped into the well, making the well completely useless because it's fully contaminated. But damn! Look at the guts on this figure, man. This is awesome. I mean, come on, dude. That is sick as hell. I love this shit, dude. That is just so cool. Look at that. That is beast, man. Just look at all oh, so nasty. Just love the colors that they used here and the sculpting on this. It's just so gnarly, man. I just totally love this. You have this other gut piece right here. In the bottom, it's not painted, so I just put this in here like that. That's what I do with it for the most part. Or you can have them split open, just have it chilling on the floor, kind of like how it was in the episode. You can see it has these two uh, pegs right here, so that you can attach it proper. You could so that you could attach the two pieces properly, and you can see a peg coming out of this side and a peg coming out of this side. But you know, if it only really holds together well if you don't have that gut piece in there. So you could see that you know, and even so, you know, you could see the seam sticking out. A lot on the side right here so this part doesn't really fit in together I wish this did fit a little bit you know tighter but oh well what are you gonna do but you know from over here it looks okay and speaking of which I mean I just want to show the cut you know there's a lot of color variation inside these guts I think it's just very very cool and a lot of paint detail on the outside of the figure as well I just think they really nailed it on this guy look at that I do wish though that they added some more blue because, you know, waterlogged dead people, you know, tend to have a lot of blue and black. Like this kind of brownish beige thing right here on his titties. Looks pretty good. Just messed up looking zombie. Now one gripe I have with all of the Walking Dead figures are the joints have these very visible ratchets. And that's kind of annoying, but oh well. See so even on the wrists right there. Look at these, you know, chubby fingers and stuff. Damn, and the face of this thing. Wow. Dude, that is just creepy. I don't know. He still has his hair. He's doing the part right there. The side part, it looks like. Wow, a lot, a lot of colors. Oh, where does foot come from? What the hell? Yeah, even the rope itself looks really badass. That's cool. Just, I don't know, I'm not saying a whole lot. Just because it's just really cool to look at this thing. I, that's what I like about these Walking Dead figures. That they're just really cool to look at. They're just great pieces of art. I mean, there's even paint detail on the rope itself. And the rope is kind of made out of, you know, like real rope. So, it's not plastic or anything. It feels like it's rope and it's kind of been laminated or something. I don't know, but yeah. There's some rope detail for you. You know, you got... Variations of colors even in the rope. See, they put a lot of love into this thing. Here's a good look at the lower half of him. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Looking cool. Zombie butt. Zombie pants. He's got a hole right there. Ooh, nasty zombie patas again. Look how nasty that is. I think that looks great. See, now this kind of coloring right here that they have towards the end of his feet, I wish they had that on most of the figure, really. There's the other foot. Just looks fantastic. Absolutely love it. So, so nasty. 
So the articulation on this guy is kind of weird, like how it tends to be on most of these Walking Dead figures. Sorry, just distracted about how cool this looks on this back side of the inside of his empty gut right there. That just looks so cool. I just love the color variation. His head rotates side to side like this. It doesn't do anything else. It kind of wobbles a little bit. So you could kind of shift it around, but you can't, you know, you can have him look that way. I wish you could look up, but, oh well, it's not a big deal. Oh, you could, you could look up like that. I guess that kind of makes sense. You could have him like, I don't know, do that whole thing. That's my zombie noise. He has shoulder articulation that moves outward a little bit. I think I just ruined the figure a little bit by doing that. It moves forward a lot. He has rotation right here at the elbows and it bends at the elbow like that. I think it's kind of interesting how the wrist joints are actually a side to side movement as opposed to an up and down movement which is, you know, it's pretty cool. So I want to take another look at the nasty going on here on his hands. That's crazy. You could rotate them side to side, and same thing on this side over here, so it's pretty consistent. And then on the lower half, his legs just twist like that, kind of like a NECA figure, and that's about it. That's all the articulation he has. Here's the Well Zombie compared to the comic series Rick Grimes, the NYCC Rick Grimes. So I think they fit and scale pretty well together. I like that. One gripe I do have about this line altogether is that it doesn't really fit into the three three quarter inch scale or the six inch scale. So, you know, it's right in between there. They're like five inch figures. So there's that. So that's my review, guys. I hope you dug it. I hope you guys all have a happy Halloween, and I will catch you later. Peace. Made in China, AMC.